Now, top U.S. diplomat Wendy Sherman issued a fresh warning saying that the United States remains convinced that Putin is ready to use force against Ukraine by mid-February. I don't know what's in President Putin's mind. There's only one person who knows that, and that's President Putin. I, and I'm not, I have no idea whether he's made the ultimate decision, but we certainly see uh, every indication uh, that he is going to use military force uh, sometime, uh, perhaps now and uh, middle of February. Uh, we all are aware that the Beijing Olympics begin on February 4th, the opening ceremony, and uh, President Putin expects to be there. I, I think that probably uh, uh, President Xi Jinping would not be ecstatic if uh, Putin chose that moment to invade Ukraine. Uh, so that may affect his timing and his thinking. Now, basically, what Sherman is saying that Putin is set to travel to the Beijing Olympics in February. Any military action during his presence at the Olympics could upset Xi Jinping. So the U.S. estimates that he could use force by sometime around mid-February. The U.S. Embassy in Ukraine urged its citizens to consider departing now, as fears continue to grow over a possible Russian invasion. In a statement, the embassy warned that the security situation could deteriorate with little notice. Russia, on the other hand, is busy displaying its military might to the world. It has sent more troops towards Ukraine and has now also begun massive military drills with all its fleets. The Defense Ministry has published videos showing the units moving towards Russia's Rostov region, a region that borders Ukraine. The military also announced new drills involving 6,000 more troops near Ukraine. Another video shows fighter jets being relocated to Belarusian airfields. Russia has sent two battalions of S-400 surface-to-air missile systems to Belarus. Both the nations will hold joint military exercises called the Allied Resolve to repel external aggression. And there's more. Over 20 warships have entered the Black Sea. Video shows warships with radar transmitters on maneuvers in the Black Sea. According to Moscow, the presence of massive warships is part of scheduled naval exercises in the Mediterranean. And with all this military display, Moscow has maintained its denial to invade Ukraine, instead blaming the West for quote-unquote Western hysteria. Beyond is now available in your country. Download the app now. Get all the news on the move.